Yeah, I just want to make sure I have the right address. Oh, you're going from McKinley? Hello? Yeah, hi, I'm sorry. I was from the building owner. Of yeah. Yeah, hi, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a, the, the building because I run a small investment company locally and I'm going through a 1031 exchange with some partners. And I was curious if you'd be totally against selling the property. Yeah, we get offers all the time. We never really went for anything. We're not, we're not in a rush to sell. I know you get offers all the time. I, and I get calls like this all the time on my properties too. And I wouldn't be calling you if I wasn't kind of desperate at this point. So do you have a kind of a number in mind that will at least get you to consider it? 1.4. Okay, 1.4 will get you to consider it. Could you clarify how many units it is again? Yeah, no, I, I know a lot of, I'm just saying like, I keep seeing conflicting numbers online here. That's why I just want, I don't want to assume something when I, I, I might be incorrect here. Cause I obviously I can see the townhouses. Yeah. It's, it's uh, six main units and two basements that are legal. Okay. The basements are one bedrooms or how's that set up? Yeah. They're one bedrooms. Okay. Got it. So it's six twos and then two ones. No, they're, um, I believe four twos and two threes. Two, three bedrooms. My name is Henry. I didn't. I don't see your name here. What was your first name? Yeah, you don't need it. Okay, that's fine. Look, I I'm not trying to be an ass. Look, I, I just sold a building for about a million two recently. A uh, smaller multifamily, so I'm looking to place the money. I was just gonna say, like, if you gave me your email, I can try to get you something in writing. I see. I heard you say four two bedrooms, two three bedrooms, and then the two ones. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, 1.4, let me talk it over with my lender. Um, just out of curiosity, I know you, like you said, you had got plenty of offers beforehand. Uh, would you be open to taking payments over time? We just wanted one clean sale if you got an offer here. Well, I mean, I would put down a substantial amount of money, but I, I'm just saying like, uh, I don't know if you have a mortgage on it. No. So I'm saying like typically what I've done in the past, like if you, if you uh, want to deal with a 1031 or anything, but I could basically put down a substantial amount of money and you could hold back a mortgage. I could pay you as the bank and refi out in a few years. But if you don't want that, I can just make you a straight up deal. I, I don't want to pester you with BS, but just figured I'd ask you. Yeah. Do you prefer that I send you an offer? Uh, is, like, is this your cell phone or I can send you an offer or what's the best way to send you an offer? Yeah, you can send one on the Okay, this is your cell. Okay, I mean, uh, what was your email? Okay, got it. And then um, just to clarify for utilities, do you pay all utilities or the tenants pay electric and gas? Individually. Okay, great. Including water, correct? Or do you pay water? Hang on, let me see. I think it's but I'm not 100% sure. It's okay. And again, it was McKinley, right? To McKinley? I just want to make sure I have the right address. Oh, you're going from McKinley? I mean, I would, I would, I would look at Newark too. I mean, like, I, 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 that's why I feel like I was looking at the wrong building. Oh, 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 geez. I didn't even catch that. Most people are looking for our Newark building. I'd look at Newark too. I mean, look, I, I what was the address for the Newark deal? Because I so I can look that up. And then that was fully occupied, right? Yeah. Let me try to get you a, as close to that one point four million dollar number as I can, and then let me see what I can do there. Okay. Sounds good. Henry. Awesome. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Hey, hey, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Frank. Uh, my name is Henry. I was calling you about property I have on Jefferson Avenue and Elizabeth. How you doing? What about? Well, look, I was calling you because I run a small investment company locally, and I'm going through a ten thirty one with a partner of mine, and I was just curious if you'd be totally against selling the property. You don't see selling it. I mean, even if you got a price for it. But you know what it is? It's a rooming house. You know what it is? Yeah, I'm familiar. I'm not again. Look, I'm not begging you to sell it. I'm just stuck between a rock and a hard place here. And maybe I don't know. Maybe you have something else you might consider selling more than that one. But I don't know if there's a price in mind that if you got it, maybe you'd consider it. I don't know. I mean, I have a rooming house in uh, in Morristown. I don't know. It makes quite a bit of money, but close to maybe a million bucks for it. Maybe I sell it. I don't know. The one in Morristown, you said, not the one in Elizabeth, right? Yeah. What's the address for Morristown so I can look at it? You said about a million bucks? Yeah, close to a million bucks. I might sell it. So how many rooms was this one? I think it's uh, 11 or 12 rooms, something like that. Okay. I think it's about, I think that's about like 75, 80 grand. Oh, yeah. Like that. So it grosses like what? One, one, and one twenty? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'd love to uh, <coughs> take a look um, if possible. Uh, and it, just to clarify, it's all rooms, right? There's no no uh, apartments whatsoever, right? No, no apartments in there. No. no rooms. Okay. Well, Frank, why don't I do this? I'll do some homework real quick, and we can try to see if we can make something happen. I mean, if it's netting like seventy or eighty grand, I'm guessing it grosses on like maybe one ten, one twenty, based on the net. I just don't. That never really. I'm assuming that's about what it does. But I just don't look close to it. No, it's all right. Listen, I, I, I never had a anything, so I never really punch the numbers good, you know? Yeah, that's fine. So, look, why don't I do this? What? Uh, why don't, the one on Jefferson takes about, I think, 60, something like that. 
about 60 grand, 65, maybe, I don't know, something like that. Okay, I mean, would you... And that's about 90. You like the rooming house, the rooming house business, don't you? Well, that's the only thing that makes money. Everything else is business. Everything else is like a wash. Only the rooming houses make money. All these other houses, what you have to pay, you know, are they more headaches? Yeah, but you make money. The difference in the other stuff might be not less headaches and less hands off, you know what I mean? You keep your hands, you know, a little less simpler, you know? You're not making any real money. You're paying big money for these two family houses, you know what I'm saying? I know, it's crazy. You're paying a lot of money. And at the end of the day, you know, when you when you do the numbers, you crunch everything, you don't make any fucking real what do you make? A four cap or some shit, maybe? Yeah. You know, four, four, sometimes a five, you get lucky. Yeah. So then why don't we do this? Why don't we uh I'm getting a little I'm getting a little tired. I've been doing this since I'm seventeen, you know, seventy seven. God bless. I've been doing that. I don't know a lot of I don't know a lot of shit. Oh, it's um it's uh what the heck is that? Yeah. How much ten thirty one do you got? Well, we just sold a, a pretty large building. So, like, you know, again, uh, we could definitely make sense of doing something together. I mean, obviously, it depends on returns. I just, I, I can't lose investor money. That's all they care about. How much 1031 do you have? That's why I have a lot of buildings at all. Five million. Ideally, in a perfect world, I'd like to be into a, you know, a large apartment building or, you know, retail or industrial properties. But I'll take a look at anything. I have a partner of mine who loves rooming houses. For the right type of property, I'll go anywhere, my friend. I mean, you're not going to get some big freaking uh, cap rate, but I mean, uh, I have good buildings that, that fucking everybody pays. Okay. I, I own like 28 Okay. Well, yeah. What, what, kind of, uh, what kind of property are we talking about? I have like uh, I have, uh, eight and two stores on Fifth Day and Sunset Park on the corner. They're only for like. This is okay. You said an eight family plus two commercial, an eight residential, two commercial? Yeah, yeah. That building makes about 150 now. Okay. I have to get about 0.9 for it, something like that. What was the address of that building? Yeah. This might be something interesting for a partner of mine, definitely. All right, look, look, I'll uh, I'll show you a text and um, I'll see what I can do with this. No, no, whatever. Whatever. Don't matter. Just, you know, whatever it is. Oh, you got it, my friend. All right, bye. Thanks, Frank. Take care. Bye. This just goes to show you guys, like, everyone's always like, no one will give you information over the phone. No, whatever. This, I mean, when do you get people talking? They'll talk about anything, right? Like, this is, this is the simplicity of the game.